What is guys Hi once again and I'm coming at you guys with another content on Cookie and Kingdom. The update for Claudia Cream Cookie just went live and if you guys do check his skill out now, everything is going to be changed uh, from that 109.9% .9 to 89.9% .9 to that 20% fixed damage and then there's going to be the extra damage to any of the other which is going to be uh, non-cookie enemies. Uh, they're going to be taking extra damage. There is a 17.5% damage resist that is going to be given to Claudia Cream Cookie. And, you know, all the other stuff that has uh, been added to his kit. And also, if you guys did level him up and, you know, took advantage of his level up and promotion event, then you are going to be getting all of these rewards. As well as for all the other players who were not able to take advantage of it, they are still giving out 3,000 crystals and 1,000 emblem. So we're going to be taking that. All right. So with everything uh, collected now, uh, first of all, I just, uh, I'm just going to go and uh, pull uh, two times here. Let's see what I get. <laughs> Oh, we get a we get a crest here, and let's see if we get anything else. That is gonna be ten free pulls that you are able to do, and we got two soul stones right there, guys. All right, so first of all, um, I just logged on, so there's a lot of stuff, but let's go into the world aspirations. All right, guys, so here we go. Let's go into the battle with only Claude and Cree Cookie. He is gonna be using the five sitting raspberry as before. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna put it at one point five. Uh, so. Now, you are going to be able to see the double tick right now. I am killing the enemy in one shot, so you're not really seeing the double, but... Right, so right there, you actually saw two different ticks. So, wow, that was like 70-something thousand, uh, two times. All right, here we go. So now, with the Cake Witch out, we are going to be using the skill, and... Wow, just absolutely annihilated. 773,000 damage. 773. Uh, let me go and check how much I did previously. So in the initial run, it, he actually did around 600,000. So wow, that's a significant amount of increase in the damage. And that means we got to try it out it against, uh, you know, against Strawberry Crave, who is going to be able to get caged as well. So let's go into the battle here. All right, guys, here we go. We did kill Strawberry Crave in one shot, but you guys can see that the increase in damage, right, range, has actually gone significant so you actually saw some damage in the front as well as in the back where the actual you know cookie so gets cookie caged and damaged uh, and also if you guys did look there was that extra you know damage resist buff that he is getting after he casts his spell for eight seconds so he is gonna definitely be a better cookie to be used inside of the arena as well as the world aspiration now all right so now Finally, the biggest test is going to be using him inside of the Kingdom Arena. So let's go and build the team again that I've shared previously and see how well he does. Alright guys, so I went and made two of the teams that I've shared previously inside of a video. This one is going to be great against one tank comps where Clotted Cream is going to be able to knock the uh, tank back to the uh you know behind the enemies and then we'll be able to focus on all the damage on the middle and the rear and then this one is going to be good against the four tank comms uh where they're going to be able to survive and clotted cream is going to be doing the uh, extra damage to all of them all right so if you guys go over the toppings real quick you guys can see it in the previous videos which i will also be linking as well as putting it on the uh tags uh so you guys can see right here five solid almond five solid almond five solid almond for clotted cream as well and it is going to be using swift chocolate for both of these uh healers as well as support parfait and uh our herb and for the comp against one tank is going to be five solid almond five solid almond five solid almond five solid almond and five solid almond as you guys previous seen in a lot of the comp videos that we have going on right now all right so focusing on damage resist for all of them all right and then you know for enchanted rope i did give it to both of these so make sure you want to have them uh you know attacking first and knocking them back if possible and then of course for the treasures here are going to be jelly watch scythe and the scroll so let's go into the arena grandmaster 3 area and see how well these comps now with cloud and creek cookie buffed performs in battle all right guys so here we go we have a single team comp here so we are going to be using this team and see how well we do against this team with our clotted cream cookie buffed so i am going to put it at one time speed so if you guys know wildberry is going to uh, use his skill first which is going to give a passive 15 percent buff to the entire team and then on top of the 17.5 percent for clotted cream he is definitely going to have an increased amount of survivability keeping him alive uh you know for a significant amount of time until he is able to use his skill one more time all right so here we go we are going to use his skill one more time here 
and then we're gonna use our caramel arrow and let's see if we're able to even win this and bam okay i mean of course that major damage was from caramel arrow but you guys saw like the damage from clotted cream has definitely increased a lot all right so let's see how much damage he actually did uh 1.5 so he's around, doing around the same um, um of course this is gonna be a previous team that i've shared before and of course he did take a big chunk of damage and he died earlier before he was able to use a skill for that one minute mark but you know we'll just have to see how well he performs against different teams right now i mean this one is pretty common with wallberry in the front and having eclair or even sorbet and sea fairy and then the two supports in the back so we'll just have to see how well we do against other teams all right guys here we go another team grandmaster 2 this time around a wallberry uh we see the content and the uh Parfait in the back as well. It's probably going to be like Seafair or even Frost Queen together. So let's see how well we do. All right, here we go. So yeah, it is going to be the Seafair and Frost Queen. So uh, Clotted Cream actually was able to use his skill. So he is going to get that uh, passive as well as his uh, own 17.5% uh, 17 So he is going to survive a bit. Uh, previously, he probably would have already died, but because of that buff, he is definitely having an increase in the survivability. And bam, wow. The damage right there was good. That was good, guys. And he even survived. Like, he's tanking a lot of these damage, which is really good. And he is going to be able to cast his spell one more time. And guys, that was 64th per uh, place person, right? So, wow. Okay. Damage 2 million, so not bad at all, uh, getting increased, and also just the fact that he is able to do a lot of damage to the frontline tank, just being able to deal with this guy, right? Uh, there's a lot of comps right now using just one tank uh, comps, so having a team like this uh, with his survivability increase, he's definitely going to be able to use his spell more than like once or twice right sometimes previously in the video he kind of just melted away and then you had to rely on caramel arrow wildberry as well as maybe even frost queen to do the damage but now he is able to kind of uh, do more damage and definitely will be used inside of the meta all right guys another team here is going to be against an herb at this time around he is not going to be able to uh you know purify the cage so it is going to be good let's see how well we do all right here we go this time they are using a Sorbet and an Eclair. Alright, so this might be a little bit tough, but... Oh, that Eclair just got popped right away. Alright, so let's see how... Oh, this one's gonna be close. Alright, he was able to survive even though he had, like, tiny amount of HP. Dude, that, that damage resist buff just changes everything, I feel like. Like, you know... Normally he would have died. Normally he would have been gone. Normally he shouldn't even have been able to use this skill more than once right there because of the fact that Eclair died early, right? And then he was able to get stacks on top of, you know, his initial skill. Man, this guy still survived through all of it. And then Pomegranate's healing at the end kind of kept him alive. But man, he was able to use this skill more than once, which changed the outcome of the battle. All right, guys, finally found a 410 comp that we can go up against, and that is going to be now with this, right? Dark Cow, Wallberry, Clotted Cream, Parfait, and Herb. So let's see how well we do against this 410 comp. All right, here we go. So I've shared a different comp with you guys before of how you guys can deal with this. Uh, it is going to be using Sorbet, but now that we have Clotted Cream and he did get a buff, let's see how well he is going to perform against this team. All right, so right there, Wallberry is just gone for 4.8 seconds. And then he did take damage. Uh, that was a pure damage right there with the extra damage. Uh, let's see if they're going to be able to survive. Dark Cow right there, okay. And yeah, this this team is surviving. I mean, Caramel Arrow normally will be doing a lot of damage, but you saw a hundred something thousand right there. Not bad, not bad. A lot of damage from our Clotted Cream. Of course, there is that defense reduction and everything from Dark Cow, And he is able to take advantage of that. And then these guys are not able to burst him down. Right? We have heal from Ur. We have heal from Parfait. And the damage resist buff from both of these cookies right here. So this guy is just surviving, guys. And healing done. Wow, 3 million uh, by both of them. And yeah, there you go. 
All right, but let's end the arena battle test for this video with against a another Grandmaster 2 here. Against uh, probably going to be a Seafairy and Frost Queen once again, but let's go and see how well we do. All right, here we go. 44th place this time around. So if you guys look closely, he is going to be able to... You, you see that? He wasn't stunned by Fra uh, our Seafairy or their Seafairy, right? So while he is using his skill, if a Frost Queen or a Seafairy actually uses their skill, he is going to be immune to the freeze. He is going to be immune to the stun right there once again from this uh, stun from Seafairy. And bam, just the burst damage from, the, uh, from our team. Just they can't survive here. All right, here we go. Caramel arrow once again, and then clotted damage, and that wall barrier in the front couldn't even do anything. Uh, working amazing, uh, preventing the tank from even you know doing what they're supposed to do, which is tank for the team, right? And then the burst damage from Caramel arrow and Frost Queen, uh, just immobilizing them from, with the freeze, and then just the burst damage from Caramel arrow is just gonna work amazing uh, together. All right, guys, so that's going to be the secondary review of Clotted Cream Cookie. I know that the first review that I made, you know, he he was a beast in my, in my opinion. Of course, after more testing, he was found out to be a bit lackluster and couldn't be used inside of the current meta. But I believe now with the new buff, with his cage not being able to be dispelled, doing true damage, which is like, you know, ignores the defense and damage resistance. And on top of that, increase in his tick uh, attack range. Uh, having that, you know, caged enemy actually taking the damage as well. I believe that this guy is going to be a game changer inside of the arena. Of course, inside the guild boss battle, you still do not want to use him because he is going to still take the uh, damage reflection from the dragon. And, you know, he's just going to kill himself. So I don't recommend you use him inside of the guild boss battle. And I almost forgot he does have that extra 17.5% damage resist with him so definitely he is going to be amazing to use inside of the arena right now and you guys saw that i was able to defeat a lot of the single tank cons with that comp that i shared with you guys previously so uh definitely amazing and i'll have to say even just from testing it out just like that he is going to get an increase inside of his rank from my pvp tier list from a plus to at least s uh tier i mean i don't know if he's gonna be ss tier uh like camera and wildberry but he definitely is gonna deserve an s tier but there you guys go a secondary review of the upgraded clotted cream cookie and i will be making separate team videos that i find uh when i do find them and i'll also be testing more of them myself so if you guys don't want to miss that make sure to hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell and also if you guys did enjoy the video make sure to hit that like button anyways guys thanks for watching once again and i'll see you guys all on the next one